guys, so last week we learned all about Jean Moreau and surrealism and abstract art. You guys played a really fun game and you made some great images. Thank you so much those of you that were able to send them to me. Today we're going to continue with Jean Moreau and we're going to take those same kind of images and surrealism and we're going to make them three dimensional. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to start by drawing your shapes and designs on flat pieces of paper. We're going to focus on elements of art like line and shape and color, but we're going to add another element today and that element is form. Form is when something becomes three dimensional. Three dimensional means it's not just flat anymore. So what you can see, we're going to take these, we're going to cut them out. Make sure you draw on both sides then because once something is three dimensional, we don't just see one side of it now, we see all the sides of it. And then you guys are going to try and find something around your house that you can use to make it stand up. So you can either take your objects and put them together to stand up or you can find some other things. Something you're going to need to do is take a scissor and cut a little slit. We're going to talk about this in my demonstration and then you can cut a slit in something like a toilet paper roll or a piece of cardboard. Those are some examples I did. And then we can put them through. I'm going to show you how I get them. Stand up three dimensional. I did a dog and a star. Okay. On this one, I folded it over. I cut some slits. I'm going to show you a little bit closer up in just a moment. But we can take our cut shapes and we can put them through those slits that way too. So there's a lot of different things. And then you guys see, you can see the front, come a little closer and see how you can see the front and the sides and all the different directions of our three dimensional Joan Moreau shapes. So let's get started. So like we just talked about, you guys are going to use all the things you learned about with Jean Moreau last week, and you're now going to be making a three-dimensional Jean Moreau project. So like I showed you, I started with just some shapes that I drew in the style of Jean Moreau. Now you can do some ideas that you got from last week, working with the images from the game, or you can make up your own. Really, it's just any surrealist, dreamlike, creative shapes. You can do shapes that he did, like eyes and stars and animals and, and people, or you can do shapes that you like, that are your favorite. After you draw it on one side of the paper, you're going to then cut it out and draw it on the other side. Because remember when we do something three-dimensional, we're seeing both sides of it. After you have some shapes done, find a way that you can connect them to make them stand up. Now, you could maybe do this by just connecting the pieces you have. If you fold them over and you put slits in them, or it might be easier to use something you have around the house that's a little bit sturdier. I used a toilet paper roll and I cut it in half and then I cut some slits on it. And then I had cut slits with a scissor on my shapes that I cut out. And now I can take my shapes and put them inside of my paper towel roll and now they stand up. I also had some cardboard in the house, so I just cut out a rectangle and I folded it over and I cut some slits in it with the scissor, not all the way through, just part way. You can see how there's little lines in there. And then I can take my Jo Miro shapes and I can put them inside of those slits like I showed you in the beginning of the lesson. And they stand up that way. You guys can see how that is now standing up. All right, have lots of fun and send me some pictures. See you next week.